part of the administrative team here at Bedford High School, I am honored to be introducing this year's fourth annual Pride Ceremony. Although this year is not like others and we will be doing it virtually, we wanted to make sure that all of the recipients for the Pride Awards would be honored. This year we have Mr. Edstrom presenting the Perseverance Awards, Mrs. Sherry Brinkman-Young presenting the Respect Awards, Mr. Andrew Reddy presenting the Integrity Awards, Mr. Cruz presenting the Dependability Awards, and Mrs. Salo presenting the Empathy Awards. My name is John Estrom. I've uh, been selected to um, list off the names of people who have achieved the Perseverance Award. Abigail, Abigail Bickford, Abraham Lincoln, Andre Dallaire, Andrew Curtis, Ayla Clark, Camden Cody, Connor St. Amant, Devin Perez, Genesis Martinez, Hannah Lovejoy, Hungru Deer, Hunter Frechette, Isabella McAfee, Jaheem Franklin, Jasmine Bouchard, Caitlin Bickford, Caitlin Ashenfelter, Catherine Mendoza, Keisha Kedrick, Kendra Harmon Bolding, Laura Peralt, Lauren Tregner, Matthew Oliver, Matt Lamoureux, Megan Memoris, Melody, Melody Martell, Micaiah Wirt, Orion Clark, Ricky Orgo, Ruby Wynn, Sage Gagne, Scott Clark, Stephen Thurlow, Suham El Abrazre, Sayeda Malia Raida, Tatiana Pratt, Tiara Lewis Jordan, Shane Liu, Raylan Bobai, Lawrence Morris, Jordan Pemba, Gabby Njenga, Bree Haskell, Adriana Ledoux, Zach Gibson, Enoch Paddy, Caitlin Washington, and Chris Paul. I've also been asked to present an award to Jaheim Franklin for perseverance. Um, I have Jaheim in my geography class, and um, we have a lot of hard workers in that class, and I've certainly have uh, many in other classes, but nobody um, perseveres like Jaheim. I mean, no matter what obstacle is in his way, he always finds a way to get over it. And it's really refreshing to see students who are willing to put in so much effort and to accomplish their work, especially you know work that I give them. So um, every day he comes in with positive attitude, and when he doesn't understand something, he works really hard to get through it. He'll, he's not afraid to ask for help, um, and he always comes up with great outcomes, and uh, it's really nice. Hello, my name is Ms. Brinkman Young, and I am presenting the Respect uh, Awards for the Pride uh, Ceremony on behalf of Dolores Charest. And the first person to receive a, one of the Respect Awards is a freshman, Alex Trembley, another freshman, Ambu, Amber Hewitt, um, sophomore, Ayuba Fapana, another sophomore, Brady Nielsen, Another sophomore, Brady Raymond. A senior, Cameron Roy. A freshman, Ellie Fournier. A sophomore, Emily Nunn. A senior, Garrett Ross. A freshman, Lexi Meserve. A sophomore, Monica Gonclaves. A junior, Malia Rada. A senior, Terry Tuttle a sophomore, Trinity Rowe, a senior, Tyler Hampton, a senior, Seth Harding, a sophomore, Doa Massad, a freshman, 
Julius Silva, a senior APC Richard Waterman, and a letter senior at APC Xander Richards. And before I give the, um, the winner of the plaque um, the award, I wanted just to say a few words about respect. Every year, as a ninth grade teacher, uh, I have conversations with my students about whether or not respect is something that needs to be earned. I believe firmly that respect is actually a recognition of the humanity of another human being. And it is behavior, and it's behavior based on faith, that it is the initial, the first, and the most important step to really connecting to others. I think respect underlines all of our other pride values, because without that assumption, all of the humanity of the other and the behavior that accompanies that assumption, empathy can't follow. Um, it, it's truly, I think, integral. The recipient of this award is somebody I had the great pleasure to have in my freshman English class. She is not only the embodiment of respectful behavior and connectedness to every member in her class, as well as myself. Um, she also respects her surroundings. She respects the fact that in my class we have gum and students take, but students should always give. She would replenish the gum regularly. Uh, she is an unbelievable young woman, and I received a text from her today that I am going to read that exemplifies how this first recognizing humanity of other people can truly um, lead to a real connection. So if you bear with me for a second, I'm going to open it. Um, ah, I'm sorry, I had it already. To exemplify this young woman's um, initial connectedness um, and respect, I wanted to read a text I received from her today. This is just a quick check-in so you can hear from me. I have read the announcements and I understand that we'll be doing revisions. I really hope that you are doing all right. I know you and all our other teachers tell us to try to make life as stress-free as possible, but I can't even imagine how much stress teachers have put under during this time. That was from Lexi Miser, who absolutely has earned this award and the plaque in recognition of her respectful behavior towards others and the environment. Bitterford School Departmental Honors. Thank you. Hello, I'm Andrew Reddy from the Social Science Department, here to present the Integrity Pride Awards. This year's winners are Anthony Gendron, Bryce Newton, Ella Ellis Daly, Ethan McLean, Jenna Johnson, Caitlin Harmon Bowling, Crystal Schumann, Melandy Martell, Seth Hardy, Stephen Thurlow, Lexi Meserve, Christiana Libby, Amber Hewitt, Alia Haig, and Tatiana Haig. And our overall Pride Integrity winner, a person, uh, this is in recognition of exhibiting strong moral principles and the quality of being honest, our Bitterford School winner is Owen Johnson. Thank you. Hello, Tigers. My name is EJ Cruz, and it's with great honor that I present to you the Dependability Award. Recipients of the Dependability Award are Abigail Rufalette, Belinda Tohiwa, Chris Walton, Corey Cote, Damian Collard, David Robertson, Ethan LaCourse, Haley Wilmont, Isabella Florent, Caitlin Bickford, Crystal Schumann, Maggie Blair, Mariah Desrochers, Matthew Duthalet, Melendi Martell, Michaela Chapman, Nicholas Jakes, Renee Dutremble, 
Devin Perez, Famer Al Jashan, Caitlin Ashenfelter, Shinoxi Torres, Austin Descent, uh, and the overall winner of the Dependability Award goes to a great freshman of whom I had this year. It was a lot of fun to have this young lady. Not only is she dependable, but she also has the other five pieces of pride, perseverance, integrity, uh, respect, and, and, and empathy. And on top of that, she has many other great characteristics, including punctuality, a great work ethic. She is driven, quiet, but grounded and convicted. She's a freshman, and not only is she new to Biddeford High School, but she's also coming from a different background than public education. She handled all the social, emotional, and educational curveballs that could be thrown at her with grace. And I'm so excited for her to win this award. I can't wait to see her continue to grow and bloom and blossom, and she's going to do amazing things here at Biddeford High. The award for the Dependability Award goes to Lydia Robertson. Hi, my name is Victoria Salo and I'm here to present the Empathy Awards. Um, the certificates this year go to Julia Morin, Maria Bussey, Megan Morris, McKenna Peasley, Noreen Getman, and Krista Newton Trier. The overall award goes this year to Megan Morris. I nominated Megan Morris because she's just a ray of sunshine no matter where she is. Megan comes into the classrooms in the morning and in the hallway and says hello to everybody she sees. Megan's also the first one to congratulate anyone on a sports win or maybe getting into college or just having a good grade in the class. She takes care of her classmates too. She comes in and offers water or a snack or just a hug if somebody's feeling down. She even came up to me one day when I was stressed out and said, Mrs. Salo, do you need a hug? She is just one of the most kind and compassionate people I know. And it's my pleasure to award for the plaque this year for empathy. Thank you. Hello, my name is Hannah Johnson. I'm a history teacher here at VHS. I'm here to present the award for overall pride. The nominees for this category were Amber Hewitt, Camden Cody, Devin Perez, Jaheem Franklin, Jasmine Bouchard, Caitlin Ashenfelter, uh, Catherine Mendoza Yings, Caitlin Bickford, Crystal Shoemate, Lexi Meserve, Lydia Robertson, Megan Morris, Milani Martell, Seth Harding, Stephen Thurlow, uh, Suham Alisari, and Leah Reda. I'm also here to speak about uh, the overall winner of this award, Stephen Thurlow. I'm just one of many teachers that nominated Stephen to receive a Pride Award. In fact, his name came up many times throughout our Pride nomination process, which is why he's being recognized today. The overall Pride Award recognizes a student that exemplifies and displays the attributes that we value here at VHS. Perseverance, respect, integrity, dependability, and empathy. Anyone that really knows Stephen or has had the opportunity to work with him knows what an outstanding job he has done to persevere through any difficulty that has come his way this year. Stephen always comes to class with a positive attitude, ready to learn and participate. In the classroom, he has also been known to help out his fellow classmates that are struggling. On the rare occasion where he was not able to be at school or able to complete an assignment on time, Stephen takes it upon himself to reach out to his teachers. He is consistently holding himself accountable and striving to be the best version of himself that he can be. I consider myself lucky to have been able to work with a student like Stephen this year and I'm sure that his other teachers throughout the building would agree. Thank you all for tuning in to our visual ceremony this year. We wish you all well and hope to see you in the fall. Thank you.